YouTube, it's your girl Erica Lene, and I am back with another story time, y'all. I am so proud of myself. I've been consistent with my story time so far, and I'm trying to keep it that way. But what's up, y'all? I am happy to be back. If you're new to this channel, thank y'all for joining us. And if you're true to the channel, what's up, y'all? As y'all can see by the title, this one's gonna get a little rocky, okay? This one is gonna give a little rowdy, okay? I couldn't believe they tried to rob your good sis like what it's crazy okay but if you have been on this channel before you know the deal go ahead on and grab you some snacks go ahead on and grab you some wine chips whatever it is you may need sis go ahead on and grab it and come back because i'm about to hop right into this story time okay let's go all right y'all so i'm gonna give y'all a background okay i'm gonna give y'all a background of what's going on what was i dealing with at this time and how you know it got to where it got to okay so to begin with i was apartment hunting this was around like early this year around like february march time i was apartment hunting i was ready to get out of this apartment that i am in right now i was ready to go been ready to go okay we have been looking i'm gonna be honest since about january and we had kind of like you know went to see a few here and there and we had kind of narrowed down to okay y'all this is the last three that we like the most we hadn't toured those just yet so we're gonna get to doing that the apartment that i'm gonna be speaking about today wasn't even on my list at all literally until the last minute i had seen this apartment plenty of times when i used to like doordash i had dropped off doordash there and it looked like a nice apartment you know it was in a good area it wasn't far from where i stay now probably somewhere between like 10 to 12 minutes out from where i stay so I'm pretty much used to the area. We are pretty much used to this area. It was convenient. It was gated. It was, you know, so it was giving. It was giving a lot of qualities that I was looking for, okay? So when I looked it up and saw the pricing, y'all, I was like, wow, the pricing was also very fitting as well. So I'm like, okay, this is this is needs to be an, this needs to be an option. And I want to say the pricing was like two to three hundred less than what we were seeing y'all for a three bedroom so it was almost like wow like maybe this is what's showing online and this is not really the actual price because i have seen that plenty of times while i was apartment hunting too but yes i'm i'm interested though so the day before we're getting ready to start doing our last tours i call this place twice i get no response I cough it up as, okay, they may be busy or whatever. I'm going to leave them alone since we're touring tomorrow. I'll call them a few hours before we need to go out to start touring, right? So the next day comes, I call them again like two times. Still no response. Y'all, truth of the matter is, this is really red flag number one. But at this point, I'm so Ray Charles to the bullshit, to the BS. At this point, I'm just wanting to get out of this apartment and get into somewhere else. So I'm like, you know, I'm not going to trip. They could be busy, they could be slammed, you know, I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt at this point. And I'm like, I'ma just, we just gonna have to make our way over there because it's not far from where we stay anyway, right? So we pull up, you know, we pull up there. That's the first place we go see. We pull up, I go into the office, I introduce myself and let them know what I'm looking for. I also did bring up the fact that I did try to call their phone several times and didn't get an answer. They apologized, you know, they said they were busy or whatever. I didn't think anything of it um and i proceed you know so they take our ids and they're gonna take us they do have something for us to tour okay so we give them id our ids and we are out to go towards the apartment to tour right we're walking there i'm asking questions like you know how is maintenance here does this apartment complex have the same type of unit throughout you know and she's answering questions she's letting me know like yeah you know it's a pretty cool calm community um this layout is their layouts are pretty much all the same except some are more renovated than others and this one was like a least renovated one that she was showing but the one that was going to be available by the time we needed it was going to be a more renovated one cool sound this good. one was a ground unit that she was going to be showing us so we get in and y'all it's nice on the inside it's wood floors throughout spacious high ceilings um upgraded and it wasn't bad even in the like non-renovated one it really wasn't like it was it was good you know so i'm like okay this isn't bad at all this isn't a bad option at all so after we see the place and i do record y'all so i am gonna go ahead on and show y'all a quick you know 
video of what I recorded while we were viewing that place, okay? I'm gonna give y'all a few seconds. Okay, cool girl, you got it, good. So, as we are leaving out of this apartment, I'm now asking her questions about money, you know? What's the application fee? What is the charges that I can expect going forward, you know? And because I'm the one that's on my stuff, you know, I'm pretty much the one to deal with anything money related and making sure I have things in order because I'm usually the one that's most responsible. So I'm like asking, get this information from her. She goes on to let me know like, yeah, you know, application fee. I can't remember how much she said it was. I think it was somewhere between 25 and $50, which is normal. There was an admin fee and that would need to be paid once we were approved. And it was $125. And she lets me know that depending on credit, um, there may be an additional fee, but it's usually somewhere around like $300 per applicant that doesn't have a good credit history. I wasn't worried about the credit history part because my credit is good, y'all. One of my roommates' credit is good as well. And then the other one has no credit history. So I let her know that and I'm like, she was like, okay, so that would be definitely $300 for the one that's not, that doesn't have a credit history. You will see on your approval if anything changes. I'm like, okay, great. So we're good. We get our IDs. We thank them. We move forward to the next apartment complex. We see this one, y'all. It's not in a bad area. It's not far from where we stay either but there were a few differences it was a bit smaller than the other apartment that we had just seen um the ceilings was a little lower it was more renovated it seemed but it just and the price was higher so it just wasn't given with the smaller place and stuff i was we just weren't feeling it like that and we had one more apartment to see but by the time we finished viewing those two it was getting close to time where traffic was about to get a bit stiff in Nashville, okay? So we was just like, where we had to go to see the last apartment was further out than the area that we were in. So we were like, hmm, let's just call them and see what they have available, if they're gonna be avail available in time and you know, what the prices are like and everything. We called them, they were basically a no, okay? So we decide obviously with the first option. So now we get into the story time with this apartment, right? Once we made that agreement, we had, I don't know if I told y'all, but it was March 2nd, cause I have the video, you know, that video stamp says it was March 2nd when we toured. We went ahead and applied on March 7th. March 7th was a Monday. Usually the application process takes about 24 to 48 hours and then you hear back. So on March 7th, we applied. By March 9th, we hadn't heard anything. And I'm like, hmm. I wonder what's going on. Like, you know, I'm gonna give them another day or two. So the next day come, no response, no nothing, you know, no information, no updates. Then Friday comes, which was March 11th, still no updates. So around noonish, I go ahead and give them a call just to check on the status of the application. The woman answers the phone and she's like, oh yes, I do remember you, you were working with, let's call that leasing agent, y'all. Billy wants my attention. Let's call that leasing agent, Angel. You were working with Angel. Angel's actually not in today, but I can check your account and see if you guys were approved. I'm like, okay, please do that. She go ahead for about five minutes, y'all. She come back and let me know we were approved. I'm like, oh, okay, well, thank you. We hang up the phone. I get ready to start texting my roommates, letting them know that we approved y'all. You know, this is good news. I want to get out of here. I'm happy. We're good to go. We need to start packing. We need to start making plans, you know? And I also let them know, like, get ready because I'm pretty sure when the lady comes back in the office, Angel, she's gonna want the 125 since we were approved. So I'm, you know, typing out this text message, letting them know was T. And before I can send the text message, y'all, I get a notification on my phone y'all i kid y'all not let me tell y'all what the notification says so i get an alert from my bank account letting me know there was a fee of 642 dollars and 19 cents pulled off my card by their management team from this apartment complex cut the cameras what so y'all know before i even send that message now i have to call sis back like what's What's good? You know, what's going on? And I call her, I'm like, hey, I just got a notification saying that 600 and almost $650 was pulled from my account by you guys. You know, can you explain to me what that is for? She goes on to say, oh yeah, that is the admin fee and the deposit. And I'm like, 
deposit, the only thing I was told that was to be paid after approval would be a $125 fee. So this is like $500 more. So what's going on? She goes on to say, oh, I don't know if there was miscommunication between you and Angel, but this is what we always pull off once you're approved. And that is the $125 admin fee. And then the deposit as well, that's $500. I'm like, look, I'm pretty sure there's not a miscommunication right now. This is reading to me as a red flag immediately because y'all do this all the time. Y'all in apartment complex, people come there, people apply, people leave. Y'all go through this process regularly. So why would there be a miscommunication on what the fees were gonna be? I'm not y'all's first applicant. So I immediately get alert and I'm like, okay, look, we do still wanna move forward y'all. I know, I know that's probably crazy, but I wanted to get out of here so bad. I was like, okay, I really wanna still move forward, but I need everything in writing and I need to really, really, really have all my stuff together when it comes to them because this was giving a bit weird for me. So I'm like, okay, can I speak to your manager? Because we have not even seen the apartment we're gonna be moved into while we did tour the apartment that she said we we're gonna get was gonna be more upgraded. And I wanna be able to make sure that is what we're gonna get. And I wanna make sure that we are good and we approve of the apartment before that y'all just keep that money. So I need to speak to your manager and see that once we tour, if we decide to decline, that I will receive my money back. Period. Period. She's like, yeah, let me get my manager or when he gets back in the office, whatever, right? So I, I think I started doing something else, letting my, y'all, Bentley gotta get in this video. He gotta get in the video. But I start going ahead to let my um, other roommates know, and he know I don't want him on my bed. Billy, go to your bed. Or stay right there. So I go ahead to let the other roommates know what's tea, what's going on. We were approved and it was this amount instead. I understand if y'all can send that all right now, I can give y'all another week. Y'all can just send it to me. Cool. In the meantime, I missed a call back from this leasing, this other leasing agent, right? So I call back. Y'all, I record this conversation because like I said, I'm crossing my I's and I am dotting. I mean, I am dotting my I's and I am crossing my T's because you're not gonna play with me when it comes to money, okay? I record this conversation and I'm gonna go ahead on and play it right here so y'all can hear it just like I did. Make sure we heard the same thing, okay? Go ahead and listen. Thank you for calling. How can I help you? Hey, this is Erica calling you back. I missed your call. Just give me one moment. Okay. Thanks for holding. This is. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, uh, I'm good. How are you doing, Erica? <clears throat> I'm going fine. Uh, good, good. So, uh, you're just wanting to know uh, if you can have your deposit back if mm -hmm. you see the apartment and don't like it. Correct. Exactly, because we we have toured, but we haven't toured that apartment. Okay. Okay. Um, how long? Okay, and you just, I mean, obviously the take. Well, but maybe... see, my my um. What I was told was I would be able to see it today, but I guess they're moving out today. So right, she correct. said it would have to be sometime next week. As soon as it's available for, available for us to see it, I can tour it. So right, it really just right. depends on when y'all have it, you know. I mean, I don't mind it being not completely cleaned right away. I just want to see it to see, you know, what it actually looks like. So mm -hmm. we can know if we want to move forward. Because we weren't told that this full, like, um, amount will be taken out right away at approval. It was told to me that we would pay 125 for admin and then the other 500 will be paid later on. So I right. was even caught off guard by that. But okay. now since that happened, I'm more like, okay, yeah, let me just have this in writing so I can feel more comfortable, you know? Right, right. Okay. Yeah, I could definitely put that, get that in writing for you. Um, okay. I, it's just, I can it, stop by there and get it. You want me to email it to you? Oh, well, yeah, you can email You can email me and just, you know, confirm that if we decided not to move forward after seeing that apartment, that I can be refunded. Yeah. Okay. And another thing, since I have you on the phone now, um, I know that apparently due to one of the applicants that are roommating with me, they don't have a credit history. So mm -hmm. there's a $300 additional deposit. That right. can be made when? Uh, when you move in. Okay, and we're like I already spoke to 
see that we were looking to move in end of April. All of that is still accurate, right? Yes, yes, correct. Okay. Okay. If if anything changes, I'll have her reach out to you. All right. So y'all heard the conversation just like I did. I discussed a few things with him. He did go ahead and agree that he would refund if we decided not to move forward with the apartment. And I also made sure that I brought up the fact that there was an additional payment amount that I know of and just confirmed that that amount was correct because now I just need extra confirmation on things since there was miscommunication. And he go ahead and says, yes, that's correct. If there's any changes, I'll have Angel reach out to you. I'm gonna name the manager Mike, okay? So that's Mike, cool. That's in the conversation. He sends me the email. I got my confirmation. We are good to go. At this point, y'all, I'm making sure I am on top of everything. Everything. Everything I communicate with them, I'm making sure it's in writing. So I'm really sending them emails more than I'm calling at this point. And I'm asking for updates and all of this just because it's, when somebody show you one time that they might play in your face, be on it. Pay attention because they're going to try you again, okay? That is a quick look a quick little gem for y'all okay but yes i'm on top of everything so by that next week because we came to the agreements that once i see that apartment i can let y'all know if i approve you can give me back my refund or we can proceed so by that next week i go ahead and i reach out about the apartment because from what from my understanding the people should have been moving out i should be able to tour it by this friday right because they pulled their money out of my account on the 11th it's now the 17th or the 18th so on the 18th i believe i called and they were telling me the apartment was not ready. So since I've already spoken with Mike and let him know that as soon as the apartment was ready, I'll be able to proceed. I go ahead and send him an email to update him and to see if there's a workaround, basically. I'm gonna go ahead on and post the email here. And then I'm gonna go ahead on and read it to y'all. So I'm like, good morning, Mr. Mike. I want to follow up with you in regards to the apartment you guys are reserving for us. I have spoken with your staff members and they explained that the apartment is still not available for touring at the moment, which pushes our expected tour date back once again. As I've previously mentioned, our current lease is ending last day of April, which makes this time sensitive for us. Due to this, we need to see the apartment as soon as possible so that we can either confirm or decline and plan for it accordingly, especially because if we decline, we would have to proceed to apply elsewhere. Since you guys are currently holding a good bit of our money, <laughs> the last thing I want is to do additional applications during this time because application fees, as you know, are non-refundable and could be a waste of money. I'm sure you can understand this, so please, if you can respond with a specific date that we can stop by the tour ASAP, that would be great. Thanks for your time. Y'all, I kept it real sweet, real cute, real professional, okay? He responds back. Um, I didn't even screenshot those emails, but he's basically letting me know that, hey, they have moved out is not being cleaned yet and he's basically not in a condition that he's feel comfortable letting an upcoming tenant see the apartment in but as soon as it's cleaned out they can go ahead on and have me come and see it and tour it or whatever i'm like okay cool and then here's a conversation that i also had with the listing agent that i worked with from the get-go angel she reaches out to me and she's like would you like me to send you a couple pictures of the unit the unit has not been crashed out or cleaned yet or we can place you in apartment 109, but we cannot show that unit until mid-April. I said, yes, please send pics of 101. It was apartment 101 she was gonna show it, show me. I said, also, you can't show which unit until mid-April. In the pics, could you please show where the light lets into the unit as well, please? If you could do a walkthrough video, that would be amazing. Thank you. She responds, 109. Um, I'm guessing that's the apartment that she can't show me until mid-April and she says they won't be out until the second week of April so we won't be able to show you that unit it will look like the one you saw first just facing the opposite direction I said okay I understand it will be cleaned in time for moving though right since we are looking for 425 moving and she goes on to say here are the photos of 101 she sent me photos of this unit I'm gonna go ahead on and show y'all here it's really not horrible, it's not bad, but it's not the most upgraded one that she was telling us that would be available for us. But it's not bad, as y'all can see, it's, it's really not horrible at all. But for me, I 
like I said, this was apartment 101, which means it was not ground level. They actually had a sub level. And I'm used to being like the highest level in apartment complexes. So I don't think that was really sitting right with me from the get go, but I did want to see what it looked like and which one was given what it was supposed to give, you know? But after seeing that one and showing my roommates the pictures and telling them where it was located, everybody pretty much agreed that they would rather be kind of like up more. So I'm like, okay, cool, that's fine. So we tell her no about this apartment and we're gonna go head on and look for apartment 109. So like she said, apartment 109 wasn't gonna be moving out until sometime in April. So I know I was speaking to them on March 18th. I went on and declined that apartment and now we're gonna move forward and wait on 109, which these tenants are moving, are not moving out of this apartment until April. So I don't speak to them in between the 18th and April. And then I reach out to them again on the 5th of April. Y'all, everything, like I said, is in email because I need to make sure I have written evidence if this needs to go any further. So on April 5th, I reach out, I'm like, hey, Angel, hope all is well. Just wanted to check if you would send pics of apartment 109 as well once it's evacu evacuated. I know you said the layout and look is the same as the one we walked through. Just want to see the condition. And she's like, make ready has not started for this unit yet. I am unable to send pictures until it is complete and turned. I will see you, send you an update as soon as the work is completed on the unit, basically. And I'm like, okay, what's the difference from the last apartment? Didn't you send pics prior to make ready last time? Is this apartment in worse condition than the last one? Or did something change? Also, any ETA on when that will be done? She goes on to let me know, this apartment just moved out Monday. I'm thinking it's upcoming move out, but it had already moved out. So I'm thinking, okay, perfect time. I'm going to be able to see this apartment before we move in. So I'm kind of like chilling now, you know, she's like, this apartment just moved out Monday. We haven't had a chance to trash out the unit yet and do the minimal amount of work that was done in the previous unit when I sent the pictures. I'm, I'm unable to send the photos of a unit that has not been touched. 101 was trashed out and had certain installations done when I took those photos of that unit. We will not begin touching this unit until later this week as we have annual fire and safety ins inspections and everything to be doing right now i'm like oh okay cool thanks for explaining i assumed make ready meant ready i'll just check back in about it next week then boom in the conversation now we come across up to the next week like i said i'm checking in weekly with them y'all so the next week i reach out i'm like hey good afternoon just wanted to check in on the pics of the new apartment i'm actually off today so if i so I would like to come see it in person. That way I can confirm the condition. Don't want any surprises. We are unable to show the unit. We are unable to show the unit. We are unable to show the unit. What? What the fuck? <laughs> we are unable to show the unit and they have not started on the unit. They will begin on it this week. We also have contractors coming to repair the door frame of this unit. So it will be off limits until the work is completed. So now pay attention y'all. It moved from we're gonna be touching this unit later on in this week to it's now the next week and the unit hasn't been touched. So I, this about red flag, at least number three or four at this point. Have y'all noticed it's been consistent pushback. So one was I declined that apartment. So it was, I, I chilled on them, but now it's starting to seem like, okay, we're pushing back and we're pushing back. I'm like, when would that be? Any specific ETA? The last thing I want is to get in this apartment and things are in disrepair. I'm sure you can understand that. To be honest, my main points are bathrooms, tubs, toilets, and kitchen condition, cabinets throughout. I really need to see this apartment prior to accepting keys. Don't want to be requesting maintenance and fixes at move-in. Thanks. She's like, there's no way I'm going to be able to give a specific ETA. We are unable to rush work on turning a unit that has steps required to follow. The only thing I can do is wait until the unit has been turned in by maintenance and the vendors or return your deposit and cancel your application. I understand your concerns and I do apologize that I'm un unable to provide you with photos or visuals right now, but I have to follow the policy, et cetera, et cetera, okay? I respond with no specific ETA. Does this mean that the apartment may not be ready in time in the time we agreed upon for 422? I did say 425 at first, but I'm guessing I decided that we're going to move in a little earlier. So I was like, basically, will the apartment be ready by the time we're supposed to move in since there's no specific ETA right now? I understand you guys use vendors, which means the repair is dependent upon the availability of the vendors as well, right? Which could affect the date of moving. 
And she's like, as of right now, your scheduled date is still as of planned. I just am not sure when the work will be completed. It is Monday and they do not work on weekends. So as soon as I get an update, I will be able to let you know more details. There's no more responses for that day. I didn't respond, nothing said. I'm waiting on basically an update because she's like, as soon as she knows, she'll let me know. So y'all, the next screenshots I have is a week later. So I'm guessing there was no updates in between this, right? So another week has passed. I didn't receive updates on this apartment just yet. Here it is, April 18th, a few days before I'm about to move into this apartment, y'all. And I'm having to reach out once again. Now, this is when it gets real, like I said, real rocky, real rowdy, okay? So I'm gonna end this video here because it's already getting like super duper long. And this is when I'm gonna really hop into what took me there. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I am gonna post a part two to the video, obviously, since I'm gonna stop this here. I'm gonna jump into part two to dig deep into what really happened and let y'all see what all took place in this crazy crazy situation okay but like i said make sure y'all like comment and subscribe follow me and make sure y'all turn your notifications on as well so you can know when i post and i'll see y'all in part two